What's up guys, Classic Game Freak here, back with another uh, pickups video. This is the pickup video I promised that I would make, and I have already made, but decided to go back and kind of give it a more relaxed feeling. I'm here in front of my computer and just kind of chilling out, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, um, got some great pickups over a course of a few weeks, and like I said, why not share it with you guys? So here we go. Of course, mind you, I do want to say that I got this stuff from OVGE a few weeks ago. I got the stuff from Thrill House Games, got from got a couple from Savers, and a couple of consignment shops, as well as the dreaded GameStop and Walmart. So let's get to it. First off, went to my local Sabres and actually found a few things. I had never seen any uh, real retro games over there as far as Sega Genesis goes or Nintendo or anything like that, so I was really pleasantly surprised to actually pick these up and find these. First off for the PC is actually Hitman, uh, Codename 47, and I mean, the graphics on that are just stunning. I mean, look at that. Stunning graphics right there. When was this game made? 2000. So, yeah. Also at Savers, picked up Hitman 2, uh, Silent Assassin, not bad. Picked up Hitman Contracts as well, so having those three at Savers all at the same time was really freaking awesome. I love old PC games like this. Picked up a loose copy of Beavis and Butthead. This is a great game. Um, Beavis and Butthead I will always love and cherish and trying to get pieces of gore tickets just freaking awesome. Rest in peace Odorous Arungus. Rest in peace. Then I got The Lion King. These games, Disney games, were great platforming games. I don't know what it was. I disliked Disney way back when. Still don't really like any Disney movies. Frozen is overrated. Oh my god, don't get me started. These are good games though. So I had to get it. So I made a little stop at a neat little gaming store in Tulsa called Thrill House Games. They've got a great little store. It's small, but you know what? So much retro goodness in there, and I couldn't help but buy a few items. First off, I bought a couple of TI-99 games, which if you don't know what a TI-99 is, then uh, check it out, look it up, TI-99 4A or A4. Uh, it was an old home computer that you could hook up to your TV and uh, play some old games on. You could do like basic coding and things like that. It was really neat. So I bought a couple of games for that since Scuba was gracious enough to send me one. Um, you know, did a really good deal with him. So uh, I needed some games for it. First off, got Tombstone City. And if you don't know what a cartridge for TI-99 looks like, there you go. They're kind of odd shaped. A little odd, yeah. But Tombstone City... And then the best game on the TI-99, hands down, there's not many, um, that would be Parsec, which this game was a side-scrolling shoot 'em up uh, really fun. Um, I need to pop that in and play that sometime. To fill up my Sega Genesis collection a little bit, I picked up Lotus 2, um, which the cartridge says Lotus R-E-C-S. I don't know why it's different. Maybe it's a different game. No, it says Lotus 2. But Lotus 2, if you want a, an EA game that uh, has no sound effects but just music, um, this is the one. But um, it's not that great. And then I picked up F22, which I don't know why I was on an, an EA kick. Uh, this is when they were just specifically electronic arts. This was supposed to be a flight simulator of sorts. Um, doesn't hold up well. It really doesn't. <laughs> Then, in a little bargain bin, it was buy two, get one free, so um, real cheap. I'm a big fan of the Guitar Hero games, so I picked up Guitar Hero Rocks the 80s. Like I said, a, a fan. Couldn't pass it up. On the Sega CD, picked up Lethal Enforcers 2 Gunfighters. And this one I was really happy to pick up because when this game, when I saw this game in gaming magazines, I knew I needed to have a Sega CD game was just really cool i was really really into anime and to see this game the way it played i really wanted it and that is road avengers on the sega cd this game plays a lot like uh what's the name of the game dragon's lair uh the old laser disc game in the arcades uh where you play derp the daring this game played almost exactly like it it was a little bit more forgiving but it really hasn't aged well but it's still to me fun i've, I've always liked this game over at OVGE, which is the Oklahoma Video Game Expo, 
It was a pretty big turnout. Uh, I went in with a lot, uh, with quite a bit of money, and I knew I was going to spend some of that. So um, yeah, I spent some of that. Let's let's take a look. Don't have the cartridge. Uh, I traded the cartridge off some time ago. I need to get this game again. But I found the box there for cheap, and that is Mutant League Football on the Sega Genesis. The best football game, hands down, on any system, even current gen. This is the best football game, and this is probably like one of the only football games I will ever play on any console. Just fun. Just absolutely fun. I couldn't spend hours in this. And then this one I was really happy to get because this is one of my favorite RPGs, one of the strategy RPGs, uh, turn-based, and um, to get it on Sega Genesis with its box and everything, just fantastic, and that's Shining Force. Um, what can I say? If you've never played it, give it a shot. Uh, it's really one of the starters, uh, one of the original um, turn-based strategy RPG games. Really great. Rebel Assault on the Sega CD. So cheesy. So cheesy, but it's Sega CD. It's so good. I used to own it when I was younger. I had to have it again. Cell Feed is a great shooter. Uh, a shmup. Uh, the graphics in the background kind of flow while your your ship can do this it's just the background seems completely detached from what the fighter is doing and everything but you know it was really like groundbreaking back in the day and um just really fun to pop in and get that nostalgic rush going and last but not least on the sega cd this is one of the cheesiest of cheesy games i promise you it is really bad this was one of the full motion video games that, you know, they, they used really cheesy actors. You had the general that uh, was chomping on a cigar and giving orders. Or you better bring that million dollar helicopter back, or, or, you know. Really bad, but um, has a charm all its own, like Sewer Shark. That game is awful, but there is a special place in my heart for that game. But the game I'm talking about is Midnight Raiders. Um, more on this later. I'm going to do a review for this, so look forward to that. And you're probably thinking, why Classic Game Freak? Do you even have a Sega CD? You just got all this Sega CD greatness. Surely you would. No, no, no. I don't. I haven't since 1996. But um, I tell you what, before I bought all those games, picked one up. Yeah, that's right. Sega CD, one of the best consoles ever just because of the overwhelming library of cheesy games but this also has one of the best games as far as soundtracks goes road rash was freaking awesome on the sega cd it's a must you, and plus all the licensed music while you were racing man that was groundbreaking back in the day sega cd i recommend it pick one up and then fix the laser because the lasers are crap in these things these days and last but not least, at OVGE, this one was a really good deal. I couldn't help but pick it up, and I want to try to get the collection on the NES. I thought, why not go from the last game made on the NES to the first? So that would be Mega Man 6. Good shape, good price, had to have it. I wanted to show my PlayStation Vita a little bit of love because I felt like it had collected enough dust. And I went the wrong route because I picked up Silent Hill. Uh, Book of Memories. I've played this game all of twice, and I really, really dislike it. It's a dungeon crawler, but it's a slow one at that. I'm sorry, if you want to have a dungeon crawler, you need a fast dungeon crawler, and this isn't it. This is snail's pace, and really clunky. And then picked up actually a great game on the Vita, and that would be... Oh, man, there's some crazy amounts of animated boobies in this game i'm not gonna lie uh dragon's crown like oversized prestices i'm i'm focusing on the wrong thing great beat em up great fighter game great loot drop game you want a loot grind this is it right here showing the ps3 a little bit of love this game fell under my radar. I mean, it when it came out, I really wanted it, and I just kind of started getting into other games and totally forgot about it until I see it, saw it on the shelf the other day. This game is a beloved series of mine. I love the series, loved it ever since it was on the PS1, and that is Armored Core 5. The Armored Core series, just you can customize absolutely everything on your mech in these games, or your core, I'm sorry. And um, this game was just 
it's the bee's knees. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I recommend it. And the multiplayer is really top notch. And then as far as current consoles go, I'm a PS4 person myself. Sorry, Xbox One users and uh, sorry, Wii U users. Um, first off, the game that came out a couple weeks ago and was disappointingly overhyped. I was really looking forward to it. I was really hoping it was going to be good. Even though I saw the videos at E3 and thought to myself, ah, it looks kind of ho-hum. I still got it. I'm disappointed, but in a way I'm kind of addicted. It's weird. Um, review coming real soon for this, but that is Destiny. Um... It's repetitive, but it's strangely addicting. And last but not least, this game is hugely addicting. I'm about to go back to it and play probably way more levels than I should on it. And that is Diablo 3, the Ultimate Evil Edition. I hated Diablo 3 when it first came out. When I beta tested it, I hated it. Played a little bit of this and I was hooked getting new pieces of loot, getting just that little bit higher, that little bit better weapon. Oh, this game is so awesome. I recommend it to anybody that wants a good dungeon crawler and is all about that loot because this game is it. And with how many modes, how many difficulty levels there are, I mean, come on, there's like a Torment 6, which is, there's like easy, medium, hard, master, expert, and then torment one, two, three, four, five, six. That's insane. This game gets freaking hard and there's things all over the screen trying to kill you. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. Whew. And there you have it. Thank you for sitting with me and watching this video and seeing just what I picked up. More coming. I mean, come on guys, you know there's gonna be new cons coming every, you know, every three to six months and you know I, I love picking this stuff up as well as just picking up stuff at consignment shops or flea markets or garage sales so more definitely I've got more shelves I need to build and fill so thanks for watching guys it's because of you guys that watch till the end and comment that I keep making these videos I thank you for watching more videos coming, more reviews coming, also got some reviews coming on some hardware, which um, my new microphone, I've got a new smartwatch that I'm wanting to do a review on, so um, look forward to those. So I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.